in the community, in the Ahapua, in the Moku, to survive at its highest level, the control. Took it before gentlemen like you folks, the commission. But back in the day, it was called the Ali Aimoku. And both sides presented, presented their story. One said, no, it belongs to me, and I want all of it. Kind of like where this is going, but the words are nice. called back up. It's really about control. Yeah? Really about control. And so after hearing the story, the word comes, the word comes, Mahu'alela Hawaii, Kanavai Kelavai. And the Ali said, the water belongs to you and all those back of you who want to farm, not to you who's trying to control the water for yourself. Thus, the word kanavai has nothing to do with water. It has to do with relationship. It has to do with life, the sustainability of life. So the one individual who wanted to control was not given that right to, com- to manage the water. It was given to the individual whose purview was greater than I. That's your task, to look after us all. That's your task. I vote no on allowing Thank you. I vote no. And I'm not alone. I'm not alone. In, 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 uh, uh, Makaha, in Makaha, we want to get water from the border, water supply, because they have well. Not much. Enough for four taro farmers to begin. We have a hard time getting water from that. We have a hard time. We should be allowed to, to ask. We're not asking. We're not asking for a lot of water. We're not asking for a lot of water. We're asking for four, for four farmers to begin. If we allow four farmers to begin, why is it that we should not be looking at taro as, as baby food for the world? Why shouldn't we produce that? But we should not produce taro, GMO taro. Absolutely not. It's culturally insult to us. But we can grow enough, enough, with our own technology, with our own ET, from a cultural perspective. And you all have cultural, we all have cultural perspective. That's where we need to go to when we make our decisions. We need to really reach back. What would your great grandfather say about water? What would your great grandfather, what would your great grandmother say about water? There's a conference in, in, in California about the struggle for water. All the governors of the states went there. They all went their list of what they wanted. And when they left, if they left with what they with what they needed, not with what they wanted. Mahalo. Thank you. <coughs>